Talk to me. This is going to completely change the way you look at me. It's about what I am. I don't understand what you mean. Mum, whatever this is, I'll help you through it. You stood by me when I killed someone. I mean, whatever this is, it can't be that bad. I'm the... I'm the... I'm the worst nanny in the world! I'm a disgrace to the profession! What? I've, I've got this new boy that I'm really struggling with. You never told me about him. Well, I didn't want to admit that I was failing. That's why I just said I was at Diane's instead. I didn't want to take him on, to be honest. But I had no option. He's a very stubborn character, no matter how hard I try, I cannot get through to him. He's also very conniving. I think he might be the one who brings me down. <laughs> no chance. Your nanny breeder. And no matter how smart he thinks he is, no one gets the better of you, do they? <laughs> no. No, they don't. So, why don't you give me a little bit of time on my own so I can work out exactly what I'm going to do with you? OK. I love you. I love you. I'll see you later. to you for guidance. Show me which way to go. Calm my anxious thoughts and speak to me. Ah, what's the matter? Have you hurt your wound? Well, it serves you right for trying to escape. Please. You've got no chance against me, Tony. Now you're going back where you belong. What are you going to do to me? I'm going to teach you a lesson. You know, I really am sorry about today. Well, so you should be. After your antics today, my silver's worried sick about me. I can see how much you care about him. I felt the same way about Harry. Your son and my son are two completely different kettles of fish, love. Silver is a kind and caring young man. Harry's nothing compared to him. He's still my child, though. At least I got to say goodbye to Grace. Grace Black? My daughter, Grace. She was only a baby when me and Mandy lost her. I've got to get home and give Bronzer a tea. But I've got some news you might like. You're getting out of here tomorrow. Well, I'm going to be free. What? No, of course not. The two of us are going on a little road trip. Wait, two? Well, what you said about getting the chance to say goodbye to your daughter, it really did affect me. So, I'm letting you pay your respects at Harry's final resting place tomorrow. But I know you, Tony, and I am aware that you're already thinking of how you'll escape. So I'm telling you now to put that out of your head, because if you try anything, you'll go the same way as your son. <laughs>